Today's lesson is titled Container Gardens, a Design Process. The learning objective for this lesson is I will use the design process to research and develop a solution for an effective container gardening system. When using the design process, it's an important to establish a definition for design. Design is anything man-made. It can also be defined as a process that is used to solve problems. The design process is a systematic problem-solving strategy. It incorporates criteria and constraints and also involves the selection of a, pro of a solution to meet specified needs. There are a series of steps in the design process. Step one is define the problem. Step two is generate concepts. Step three is develop a solution. Step four is construct and test a prototype. Step five is evaluate the solution. Step six is present the solution. And then after presenting the solution, you can go back to any of the other steps and, and have an iterative process or reiterative, reiterate the process. Container gardens are a system of gardening where instead of planting directly into the soil, you use containers or um, raised beds could be another example of a container garden. Any sort of structure that can be used as a planter that is not um, directly in the earth. So some important considerations when developing a container garden system is the selection of appropriate containers, also the selection of soil media, environmental factors, and plant selection. By the end of this project, students should have five types of deliverables. The first deliverable consists of two inventor part files for two different sized planting areas, or two parts for two separate containers. The second is an assembly file that shows how the parts come together, or show um, the assembly file can show how the system comes together. The third deliverable is a design brief about the problem statement and the client and the criteria. The fourth deliverable will be sketches of possible solutions. If each person develops three, then a pair of students would have six. And then the last deliverable is a set of conclusion questions found in the project document. So here's the project document with the title Activity 1.2.4 Designing a Successful Container Garden. It has an introduction, describes the equipment as well as the procedure. In the procedure some criteria are listed um, the second section in the procedure area states the container garden design should include a water drainage system in at least two different sized planting areas. And it also references the deliverables that are expected to be produced. 
It explains how to go through the design process. And there are the conclusion questions. Here is the design brief that can be filled out to clarify the problem statement as well as itemize constraints and criteria and deliverables. Here is the assessment that can be used to gauge student learning after the completion of the project. And here is a sample solution. Here's a formal drawing for a circular type container. This would be the outer portion of the container and an inner portion. The inner portion has perforations at the bottom for water drainage. And the assembly shows how the inner portion fits in the outer portion to contain the water drainage. A differently sized container, a rectangular shape but similar design. This is the outer portion. This would be the inner portion with perforations on the bottom. For water drainage, the inner portion fits into the outer portion. And here are some initial sketches in the generating concepts phase. And that is the end of the lesson. Thank you.